every now and then, in the middle of all the rants about a new big budget AAA game, while the fans of Xbox and PlayStation are at each other's throats again, a shy indie game sneaks into the party and just sits there, waiting for everyone to finally notice and love it. Then, all the media outlets start to complain about why these games get so little attention, like it wasn't them who promoted stuff like Starfield and Gollum. Inside is another one of these games from Playdead Studio. I know what you're gonna say, that when Inside came out, many people already knew Playdead from Limbo. Well yeah, but compared to this quality, it was nothing. But soon, it would begin to change. Inside was released in 2016 in the golden age of indie games. Very soon, it became news number one in the gaming world. People kept looking to find hidden things in it and everyone was talking about it. Everyone was wondering why is this game so good? What is it that makes this so amazing? Well, there should be a number of answers, from art design to monochrome colors, from simple basic gameplay to complex mind-boggling puzzles, and from enigmatic story to not understanding anything about the story. And that's our main focus here. Hey there, also here and in this video, we look into how Playdead uses an old forgotten storytelling element to create a masterpiece. I would appreciate it if you subscribe and hit the like button, as my channel is not doing good. But it's okay if you don't want to. Inside tells a weird surreal story of a kid who is lost and stranded in a dystopian world worse than a nightmare. People are after him, wolves are after him and there's no safe place to shelter. He just has to keep going, like a video game experience that has come to life. There are lots of videos that explain and analyze the story of Inside, so I'm not gonna talk about what exactly happens in the game. But there's also another reason for it, the very thing I'm gonna talk about today. A writing element which is almost forgotten to the gaming world and most other forms of art. I'm sure there must be a name for it, but I didn't find any so I call it Eternal Mystery. Mystery is an element of storytelling. When you make a question for your audience and won't give answers until almost the end of act 2. What I'm talking about is when there is no answer for the question. You'll never receive it in the story. So now you have to do something that is very hard to do in 2024. Using your brain. You have to think about why did that happen. A very common example of this would be the story of Adam and Eve. Whether you're religious or not, this story is still fascinating and keeps you thinking. Why did Eve eat the apple? There might be some simplified stupid answers like she was deceived, but I think every single person can come up with a different answer. Why did she do that? Really? We don't know, but we can think about it. Another example would be the story of Pandora. As you know, Prometheus stole the fire from Mount Olympus and gave it to the humans as a gift. Zeus got angry and he ordered Hephaestus to create a woman named Pandora. Every god gave her a unique gift and the last one was from Zeus who gave her a jar. Pandora's jar which was later mistranslated as Pandora's box. He warned her not to open the jar under any circumstance and sent her to earth. She peacefully lived on earth for a while until she was inflicted with curiosity. She wanted to know what's inside the jar. That's why Zeus warned her not to open it. He knew it would make her insane and has no choice but to do it. One day, she couldn't take it anymore and opened the jar. With that, all the evil forces we know today were released into the world. Death, disease, hate, anger, and all the curses of human beings was set loose that day. The legend then goes on to say that the last thing to come out of the jar was hope. This is where we reach eternal mystery. Was hope a gift from the gods who took pity on human race and put it there so it would ease our pain? Or was it their biggest curse, the worst mischief that wouldn't let us kill ourselves? Something that would force us to endure the agony so we won't mess the gods plan. Eternal suffering for people. Whether in limbo or inside, play that use this tool beautifully. Everything in the game is ambiguous. Sure, you can watch a 20 minutes analyze of some dude on YouTube explaining it to you. But please don't. Try to find your own meaning. Find your own interpretation and trust me, that's what the developers wanted you to do too. They could simply tell us what happens in the story, but they didn't so we can use our minds for once. Kafka is a master in this craft. His works are so vague that to this day, no one knows what did metamorphosis represent. What crimes Joseph K was on trial for? Sure, there are hundreds of analyses about it, but we can't say someone is more right than the others. There was a time when everything was a mystery. People thought that comets were the gods shooting arrows at each other. With the advancement of our knowledge, mystery is marginalized into science. That's why we resorted to art. We wrote stories so we can fill the gap, so we can still be amazed about our ignorance. There was a time when we wanted to know everything. Now the system tries to spoon feed us information. Now we want to feel confused again. This is why games like Inside and Limbo get praised insanely, because they didn't go with the stream. They trusted us to understand what is being said, that we won't confuse their elaborateness with absurdism. 
Insight teaches us you don't need to see the big picture to be able to walk in your path. Everything comes around eventually for the grand finale. It tells us that sometimes you shouldn't try too much to find your own way. How? With the secret ending. So any interpretation you have from the story, we all can agree that it was a cycle, that we changed nothing with freeing the hive mind. But there's a secret ending in which you can unplug yourself, thus ending the boy's life. But that wouldn't change anything either. It's not breaking the cycle, it's just ending it sooner. Why would you do that when there's so much left to the story? As a wise man said, do not go gentle into that good night. Thanks for watching and if you like to see more analysis like this, hit the like button and subscribe. You know what's next in line. Be safe friend, though you dare go or